The Truth About Forever 2004, a young adult contemporary romance by Sarah Dessen, tells the story of a young girl struggling to get over her father's death who finds romance and friendship in unexpected places. Popular with young adult readers, the book won both the 2004 Romantic Times Reviewer's Choice Award for Urban Fantasy and the 2007 South Carolina Book Award for Young Adult Books. Dessen is an internationally best-selling young adult writer whose books are known for handling personality shifts in teenagers as they endure loss and isolation. The Truth About Forever is her sixth book. Teenager Macy Queen lives with her mother in a reasonably affluent neighborhood. She lost her father not too long ago, and both she and her mother are struggling to come to terms with his absence. Her life isn't all bad, however, she has a boyfriend, Jason Talbot. He is incredibly smart and Macy loves him dearly. The book opens at the start of summer break. Although Macy wants to spend the vacation with Jason, he is attending a summer camp for high achievers over the whole break. Macy is upset, not knowing how she will get through the summer without him. Jason works at the library desk during the school year, and he asks if Macy will cover for him while he is gone. Macy jumps at the opportunity because it will help her feel close to him. Macy's mother wonders if she will take up running again over the summer. Macy used to run with her dad every day, but he died of a heart attack during one of their sessions. Macy has not run since, and she does not plan to start again now. Macy's mom hopes that some time to herself over the summer will help her change her mind. Meanwhile, Jason leaves for summer camp and Macy works at the library. She doesn't click with Jason's co-workers because they're all smarter than she is. Bored, she wonders if she made a mistake agreeing to cover his shifts for the summer. One day, she emails Jason to tell him she misses him and that she wishes his co-workers were kinder to her. However, when Jason replies, it isn't with the response she is hoping for. Jason tells her that he thinks they should take a break over vacation because they are apart anyway. Heartbroken, Macy gives up the job in the library. She doesn't want to deal with Jason or his co-workers again. Instead, she applies for a job with Wish Catering, a local hospitality company. To everyone's surprise, she gets the job. Macy's first event doesn't go entirely to plan. The napkins aren't printed properly, and she can't get a handle on multitasking. Macy wonders what kind of job she is cut out for, but her co-workers tell her not to worry. She's new and she'll get better in time. One co-worker, Wes, is especially friendly to her. He's a nice teenage boy, and Macy is attracted to him. As she works with Wes, she learns he lost a parent, too. His mother died of cancer. He went off the rails and attended reform school for various crimes. Macy feels that, for once, someone understands what she is going through, especially as she cannot talk to her mother. Macy has not spoken to Jason since he broke up with her. She can't avoid his family for long day though, because she's catering one of their parties. Mr. and Mrs. Talbot talk about Jason's decision to take a break, saying they it's for the best. Macy feels humiliated that they don't think she's good enough for Jason. Angry and upset, she leaves, and Wes goes with her. Wes drives her around town for a while. They eventually run out of gas and must walk to the gas station. On the way, Macy tells Wes how she feels about her dad and all the things she has experienced this summer. She is really attracted to Wes and wonders if he feels the same way. Wes admits that he is on a break from his relationship with his girlfriend, Becky, but that he likes Macy. Macy doesn't know what to do because she still loves Jason. Meanwhile, Macy's mom tells her to stay away from Wes because dating and work don't mix. She's worried that Macy isn't taking the job seriously and that her feelings about Jason are clouding her judgment. Macy won't listen to her. Instead, she is going to ask Wes how he would feel about a relationship with her. Before Macy can ask Wes out on a date, she sees him with Becky. They look happy together. Macy is heartbroken, she feels abandoned with everyone. Her mom comforts her, bringing them closer again. Macy is still upset over her boy troubles, but she feels better knowing she can confide in her mom again. She decides to stop giving Jason and Wes so much control over her thoughts and feelings, realizing that how she feels is up to her. She officially breaks it off with Jason. I hope you enjoyed this video leave a like if you did and be sure to subscribe thank you.